So we're back out on a kayak today. It is a beautiful sunny Thursday um, out here in Vancouver Island and we're trying to catch halibut. So let's just drift around, bob around and see what happens. that big. yeah they do I don't think there's much wind at all it's just It's a hell of it. Yes. Oh my god. Crazy. I need you to get my buoy. You got it? 
He's on. Oh no, he's not on it. Uh, I, I missed and I dropped it. But he's he's on my hook really good. What? Where? Oh yeah. If you could if you could hook it, that'd be great. Harpoon it? Which whichever you think is better. <laughs> I'm gonna send him your way. Tired. I think he's more tired now, but nice, excellent. All right, let me free school. Oh, if you could, if he's he's docile, right? Yeah, that's the perfect place to put it, right? You just let your drag off. Yeah, I just let it off. Nice. Oh, right. oh. I saw you had your buoy in the water, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like not I was just like like just just pedaling along and then all of a sudden just like wonk wonk wonk. Yeah. Oh. So the yeah, the hook. Leave your hook in for a yeah. I hope the seal doesn't get him. It looked looked like the sea line was dying. What? You want me to get some underwater shots? <laughs> you can, yeah. He's bleeding out. He wasn't, I don't think he was fighting the buoy. He was trying to go down, but I think he wasn't, he was struggling. He did, yeah, so I'm not worried about him coming off. It's just, I'm worried about the seal. <laughs> okay. My buoy's wrapped around my, in front of my kayak. Uh, oh, got it. I was just talking to the camera and saying, <laughs> All right, I think he's pretty docile. I mean, I don't know. I could probably, I could probably reach him now. Yeah. Uh, you got the the white side or the? Yeah. Okay. Get this buoy unwrapped. I got it on, it's on, but I'm not sure how much my camera is pointing at it. It's not nice. Yeah, I think he's good now. Okay, I'm gonna get him on the other side because I got my dive uh, stringer over there. I honestly don't think it's two under 90. I think it's just one a day, dude. 
I think it's two for position, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's possession is two. Yeah. So like when you go on a fishing trip, you're allowed either two under or one over. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's I think that's the case. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to. He really swallowed. He swallowed both hooks. Holy nuts. Uh. I guess just leave it in there, huh? Oh man. Just a little update. Uh, it's a little bit past. Uh, one clock and uh, managed to get uh, our guy on board he's pretty much subdued now I got him through a, uh, a dive stringer um, limit is one per day uh, max 126 centimeters this guy is nowhere near that big he's pretty small I think he's well, I don't know like a little over 20 a chicken as they call him here Conditions are pretty swelly. Uh, wind's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna try to find some spots to jig around for some lingcod. Um, there isn't much structure around this area, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll find something. It's quite the experience. My first Pacific halibut ever. Um, Hope it's not just beginner's luck. Because <laughs> you know what that means. It means I'll have a streak of really bad luck for a long time. But anyways, um, it's not too hard. It's just a matter of um, bouncing bottom. Just like California halibut in the bay. It's very, very similar. Except you're in much deeper water. I caught this guy in about 110 feet. Um, I was bouncing a... 16 ounce weight off of a spreader and uh, yeah just pedaling slowly and just bouncing it bouncing it bouncing it and you could do be doing that for hours and that's what we did today so all right 